Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, as you guys can see by the title, I got a new hermit crab enclosure and we are gonna be setting it up today. I think this enclosure is gonna be absolutely amazing for my hermit crabs, so I thought that I would review it for you guys on camera and also set it up for you. If you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to subscribe down below and also hit the notification bell. All right guys, are you guys ready to see this new hermit crab enclosure that I just had to have because it's the most amazing thing I've ever seen? Ta-da! Here it is. Is this not the most luxurious, roomy hermit crab enclosure you've ever seen? I saw it and I just had to have it. So we are gonna be putting this together and also reviewing it for you guys. This is gonna be amazing. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how you should set this up for your hermit crab at home. All right, tear into it. As you can see, it has a really flashy lid that all the kids are sure to love. Here's the little face plate that shows you everything it comes with to keep your hermit crabs alive and thriving for all their lives. All right. Wow, this kit comes with everything you could ever need for a hermit crab. Like, I can't even believe this. All right, so the first thing we have is the actual enclosure itself. As you can see, it's pretty small, but that's okay because it's cute. Okay, the first thing that we need to put in here for our hermit crabs is the substrate. Now normally I would use Eco Earth because hermit crabs do need six inches of Eco Earth to be able to molt and thrive and have moisture, but this kit comes with some white dirty looking gravel, so that's what we're gonna be using today. So our hermit crabs won't be able to dig down, molt, find moisture, or probably live very long, but that's okay. Sorry, kitty cat. <coughs> Super dusty. <coughs> Perfect. The next thing we're gonna put in here is some things for our hermit crabs to climb on because enrichment is important. This kit comes with some wire, so we're gonna put this wire in there. There's not enough gravel in here to cover up the bottom of the wire and the entire bottom of the enclosure. That's okay. Next, we have this awesome miniature palm tree that looks like it's for a poly pocket, but I think it's gonna be perfect for a hermit crab. Even though hermit crabs can get up to the size of a tennis ball, I think my hermit crabs are gonna be able to climb on this just fine and definitely thrive. Here's the awesome miniature palm tree that I'm sure my hermit crabs are absolutely gonna love. There we go. Next, we have the food and water dishes. Now, normally your hermit crab needs two water dishes so that they can soak in both the fresh and the salt water. That way that they can regulate how much salinity is in there and that way it helps them to molt. This kit comes with two small shallow and flat seashells that really don't serve any purpose, but that's gonna be our food and water dish. It also comes with this really cute little pink sponge. And even though you shouldn't use sponges for hermit crabs, I think we should just go all in on this enclosure. And of course, the last and most important thing is extra shells for your hermit crab. Now this shell is extremely tiny and it's actually smaller than any hermit crab I've ever seen for sale in a store. And also the opening is extremely narrow, so my hermit crab probably won't move in there and will probably just dive after it's molt because it has nowhere to go. But the kit came with it, so we're gonna use it. Now it's time to just put the lid back on. This awesome hermit crab kit comes in a wide array of colors, all kinds of color lids that you could ever imagine, perfect for children. I can't get the lid back on there, but that's okay. Now here we go, guys. I have the perfect hermit crab kit all set up. Now obviously my hermit crabs aren't gonna be able to eat, sleep, breathe, dig, or molt, and will probably die prematurely living in this, but it's really cute and miniature, and that's all that matters, right? All right, that is it for this review. Hope you guys enjoyed. So I saw this enclosure at a store, and I thought that I had to do a video and review on this awful, awful, trash hermit crab enclosure. This hermit crab enclosure kit is a portable crab kit uh, by All Living Things, and I know that you guys are like, oh, it says portable. Even for a temporary, portable, tiny little trap house that this is expecting to be for a hermit crab it's entirely inappropriate and there is not a single thing that this kit came with that is actually appropriate for hermit crabs maybe the wire mesh because hermit crabs do love to climb but even this wire mesh I would worry that with all the misting and humidity that a hermit crab actually needs it would probably rust over time so I wouldn't even use that myself so really quick I want to tell you guys obviously everything that's wrong with this enclosure first of all hermit crabs don't do well in these little plastic critter keepers they actually do better in glass aquariums. Not only do they hold heat and moisture better, but they're also much larger than these little plastic critter keepers. Um, they really just are not what's best for a hermit crab and it's been proven like they just don't survive in them. Next would be the obvious problem of the substrate. There is probably a half inch of dusty white gravel in here that serves absolutely no purpose other than to kill your hermit crab quicker. So 
This is actually what you would need. This is some EcoWorth. Obviously, I just have a big half a bag here. You would need to put anywhere over six inches. It's perfect for hermit crabs of any size, so I highly recommend doing that if you have hermit crabs. The next problem is this little dinky shell that it came with. Now, obviously, you can always buy shells of your own, but hypothetically, if I even had one hermit crab in here, you would want to provide it with at least three turbo shells of different varying sizes for it to move into. And as you can see, if I were to put this in here, that takes up a lot of the room in here and it leaves absolutely no room for a proper water dish. You would actually need two of these water dishes and one food dish of a significant depth, enough for your hermit crabs to be able to dip in but not drown. So let's say I were to put this water dish in here without the shell. And then of course, like I said, this will probably rust if you were actually keeping up moisture, not that this is actually gonna keep moisture in it, but you also need lots and lots and lots of greenery, sticks, and things for your hermit crabs to climb on because they do love to climb. This is actually the smallest greenery that I actually have in my tank, and even it is just way too big in here. It's just not realistic. So if you imagine that I have this set up properly for a hermit crab, by the way, this is only one of the three bowls that you would need. And you can see that this is absolutely freaking ridiculous and it's just complete trash. Please do not buy this. And yes, I bought it for this video, but I'm going to be returning it. Duh. Also the sponge, um, sponges can grow mold. Obviously a lot of people do use sponges for hermit crabs, but it's not necessary. They really will climb in and out of their dishes and dip. So I would avoid sponges at all costs, but obviously these little crappy kits come with it this is seriously just the most ridiculous thing i've ever seen hermit crabs and their shells can actually be quite weighty can you imagine a crab being in here and climbing on this palm tree what is that i mean literally i can shove this entire palm tree inside of this shell look at this like this is seriously the stupidest thing i've ever seen in my life and there is no hermit crab of any size that could actually climb on this palm tree like it's just it's silliness honestly it really is and like this company all living things they have a few okay products but like this is just the most ridiculous thing i've ever seen this shell is a joke like this is the difference in the type of shells that you would actually need for a hermit crab hi dixie so yeah it's just completely ridiculous and i would just save my money save it up, buy a proper enclosure that is 10 gallons per hermit crab like it's supposed to. This is probably one gallon at best and you really need 10 gallons per crab. So this is completely unsuitable, but I think that it speaks for itself. It really is trash. This is literally the critter trail of the hermit crab world. But like I said, this is absolute trash. Your hermit crabs really do need big tanks. And I'm going to show you guys what kind of enclosure I have to give you guys an idea of what their tank should actually look like. So we'll start over here and basically this is just a ton of artificial plants and foliage. Then we have a little igloo. Then I have their fresh and salt water pools as well as their food bowl here. So now I've added the shells back in here since it's cooled down and dried. Everything is set up and perfect. I went on and sprayed it down really well and all the shells are cooled off. There you go. Here's little Gunner. There you go. All right, Gunner and SpongeBob, y'all are free to roam. They get so excited when the tank is clean because there's so much new stuff to explore. <laughs> but yeah, that's it. I think it looks really good with the hood light and everything. It should have lots of things to climb on. Obviously, two water bowls, one for salt water, one for your fresh dechlorinated water, and then lots of food varieties. Not in those shallow little shells, which they can't dip in, they can't soak in, they're not gonna be able to molt in this gravel. Like, this really is just the biggest joke ever. But yeah, that is it for this review. I hope you guys enjoyed this review of my new hermit crab enclosure. Just kidding. If you did, feel free to subscribe down below and also hit the notification bell. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys next time. Be kind, bye.